say this is the engine of the uh, of the economy of nowadays. Now, uh, as it has been hinted, uh, I said um, I have been responsible for the accession talks, and I need to say the EU has changed also uh, as a result of enlargement, not necessarily for the better. And again, maybe I would give you one example. And if there are any uh, uh, nationals of the Baltic countries, don't take it personally because say, it applied, I mean, to all the new uh, newcomers to the EU. Some time ago, I think it was around 2004, I had a lunch uh, with, at that time, the Deputy Secretary General of uh, uh, the Council, a, fam a very famous uh, French diplomat, Pierre de Boissier. Uh, <clears throat> and I was making a point, you know, and Lithuania and Estonia and Latvia, I don't know what the issue was, but I, I re referred to them. And he said, oh, sorry, I don't understand you. I said, I don't know what you don't understand here. I'm talking about the Baltics. I don't know. I said, the, the Baltics, Lithuania, Latvia, uh, Estonia. I don't know them. And that was the message. I mean, uh, um, a clear message uh, from uh, uh, people that were building, uh, let's say, the, the union uh, to, to their liking that uh, we don't know what to expect uh, from uh, uh, the new members. We don't know what their European policies will be. We don't know what uh, the priorities will, will be. We don't know how they will fit in. And of course, uh, even more, let's say, the, the more to the east you would go, the, the more, let's say, reluctant, uh, or not reluctant, but hesitant, uh, uh, a lot of the, of the founding uh, members or, let's say, long-time diplomats and politicians uh, uh, would be. And the fact is that they were right uh, to, to a large extent. We did change the EU. We did change it uh, in some respects for the better, but we also changed it uh, in many respects for, let's say, I wouldn't say the worst, but uh, I mean, uh, contradictory to uh, what might have been the objectives uh, and the efforts. 